thing for me for the spectacular is singing and dancing at the same time. It's exhausting when you have to, you know, strain dancing, like it's a physical exercise, plus using all of your diaphragm and things at the same time. It's hard effort and you need a lot of stamina to do so. <laughs> During, I train and prepare for the spectacular by training at home. I go over my songs all the time when I get home before I do my homework and, um, you know, you've got to sing and dance at the same time and you've got to keep training yourself so you get that stamina by the time you get into the arena so that you can give a perfect performance. You've, to get the stamina up, I yeah, I go for a run and sing at the same time and, you know, it, make, it makes you puffed out but you've got to learn to control your exhaustion in the end and work on that. So. To get my energy level right, I think about the meaning of the song. So every single song you sing has a story, has a meaning, and I click into that idea of what song I'm singing and who I am as a character and who are the others around me. Coming from a country school where I live so far, it's such a good opportunity uh, for students like me to be part of the spectacular and be involved in something that's so big um, and so massive that you get that experience. So I really appreciate that about the spectacular. Uh, the, the advice I'd give to people that want to be involved in the spectacular is go for it. Definitely don't underestimate yourself because every single student has potential and I think that they can do great things if they set their mind to it.